Hey, beautiful, wonderful people. It's Jenny B from Jenny B Studios. I'd just like to say a big welcome. Today I'm going to be painting this painting of um, the mountains at Hillbrook, New Zealand. I'm using a, a different paper, which is the Colour Fix Smooth. It's the first time I've used it. And just for clarification, I am not sponsored by anyone. So as I paint, I thought I might tell you a little bit about New Zealand. Again, not sponsored. So it came about that uh, I received an invitation to spend four days in New Zealand. And you know what, guys? I couldn't resist. I just had to go. I'd heard a lot about New Zealand, but I've never travelled there. And uh, it was amazing. I had a lot of things to do to get ready for before I left for New Zealand. One of those was the immensely beautiful Bella. So it was a lot of pressure. But you know what? It's funny how life turns out sometimes. I'm not someone who likes the cold. But I am someone who likes the idea of travelling. So even though I'm terrified of planes. So I packed up poor little Bella, who was not impressed with me at all. And she went to stay with her best friend, Molly. This is, this is the view of the Remarkables as you fly in. Obviously me clowning around, taking some photos. This is one of the photos I took of Queenstown. Incredible, incredible place. The wonderful thing about travelling is not just the experience of the site and the scenery which was absolutely extraordinary but the people that you meet when you travel this particular mountain that i'm painting today was a view from a place just outside of queenstown called millbrook and this little mountain range was just near where I was staying. It was just extraordinary. Everywhere I looked in New Zealand, it was like a feast for the eyes. Now, I didn't take my pastels with me on this trip, which is why I'm painting in the studio today. I took some watercolours with me so that I could do some really quick colour studies, more so than anything else and I took a lot of photos which I'm using as well so I'm using both my color studies and my photos for references the mountains as I flew over gave me the impression of gingerbread lightly dusted with icing sugar there had been a snowdrop just before I had travelled. Unfortunately, there was no snow while I was there. It did snow after I left, so, you know, you just, you can't miss a beat, can you? And the food. People, I've got to tell you, the food was extraordinary. So it was four days that I will remember for the rest of my life. The colour fix paper is that I'm using this time round is smooth and it was interesting to work on. Not as toothy as I would have expected. I will do a more detailed drawing and demonstration for you later and we can compare the two papers. 
The other thing I found quite interesting painting the snow was how much the light just bounces and the changes in the temperature of the light. So even now as I'm laying on a light tone, I'm not laying on white because some of those lighter tones are quite warm and some of them are quite cool. And that's more because of whether the light is hitting it. And remembering snow is, is water so there's a lot of changes in the tone as you go through. If you've never been to New Zealand, guys, put it on your bucket list. It's so worth it. I was just absolutely amazed. It was nothing like I expected. And this particular place that we stayed at also had a golf course. So if you're traveling with a partner who likes golf, well, they can play golf. You can go and paint. Well worth it. You can see here how I'm lightly touching everything using both the side and the tip of my pastel as I work. Obviously being a snow mountain doesn't mean that it's not going to be filled with ridges or crevices like a normal mountain. I mean the snow is sitting on top of that. And the soil in New Zealand is so rich. I'm assuming that's why the hot chocolates were just so fantastic. I'm telling you, I, I, four days, if I had a stayed there a month, I wouldn't be able to fit into any of my clothes. The hot chocolate there, I tell you, I became a connoisseur. It was divine. And New Zealand was only a three hour flight from Australia. Good thing about that was I got to watch some movies. It's been a long time since I saw a movie. One little hint here, if you um, are ever on a plane <coughs> and you have the opportunity to watch a sad movie about a dog and you own a dog and you're missing her, do not watch that movie. <laughs> telling you by the time we landed I was in tears but since we walked out of the airport you just greeted by these magnificent scenery Just lightly touching the paper, it really holds the pastel quite well, which I thought was quite impressive. And you can see I'm just putting tiny, tiny little marks as I work. And look at the effect. The 
The light I found really interesting because it, like I said, it just bounces and moves and that has an effect on the lower areas. So here as I work in the mid-ground, even though I'm putting in a lot of trees, not all of them were actually highlighted. really hope to go back to New Zealand at some point one day like I often say I'm just one lot I win away from happiness um, just so that I can do more painting there it, the landscape was absolutely stunning and no doubt because of the richness of the soil even the countryside there was just another element altogether and that's the wonderful experience that you get when you travel. It's not only just meeting people and trying new things. It's exploring yourself as an artist as well. The ironic thing was this, this four day trip turned into 10 days because we had delays at the airport and uh, by the time we finally landed back in Sydney, which is the closest airport to where I live, uh, it turned out that the Hawkesbury had flooded again. So my only option was to go and stay with relatives. And at first you, I was really anxious. So I had to get back to work. There were things to do. There was this, there was that but settled down and um, as the central coast flooded we were all trapped and we had the best time I got to reconnect with relatives I haven't seen for such a long time and to meet and enjoy the company of some new ones my cousin uh, once or twice removed uh, she's 10 and that would be little Ruby an extraordinary artist if she ever chooses that path uh, so we went off painting every afternoon went and did some ocean painting and got to teach her a few little hints and tricks It was a nice way to remember that sometimes when things don't go our way, it can be a blessing. Just popping in some lighter tones here on the trees just to highlight where the, the light is actually touching. Guys, if you've enjoyed this demo today, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions at all. Please let me know. Um, my website details will be listed in the section below. So you can check that out if you like. Your feedback is always appreciated. 
And to those of you who join me on these journeys, I'd like to say a really, really big hug and thank you. You guys are gorgeous. You're absolutely gorgeous to keep supporting me. You know, I fumble away here when I do these videos. I'm a one man show, one woman show. So you guys have been both you know you've all been just an absolute blessing to me so here's the painting finished framed available on my website of course and guys once again thank you thank you thank you so much for your continued support without you gosh I don't know without you I probably wouldn't continue so thank you have a great day and talk soon. Bye.